Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockliffe and opposition leader Rebecca Wyatt have outlined their vision for the state after both leaders went head-to-head -head in the first forum debate leading up to the March 23 state election. Our reporter Lauren Evans joins us live from the forum. Lauren, take us through it. What was debated? How did they go? Yeah, look, it was quite a heated debate. It was the first official uh, forum that has taken place uh, ahead of that state election uh, next Saturday, March 23. Uh, we saw uh, on our TVs that we were met with a group of protesters at the start. Uh, this is something we've seen uh, throughout press conferences. A lot of environmentalists uh, are seeming to interrupt uh, these media events. Uh, this uh, sparked a conversation of uh, the native forest logging and the salmon industry, which both leaders uh, say they support. Uh, the debate, though, it was a very much, uh, well, cost of living was a big one, but quite early on, this AFL stadium project uh, was uh, very much at the centre of this uh, debate. Rebecca White, the Labor leader, says if a Labor government was re-elected, uh, her government would renegotiate the deal with the AFL. She thinks that the AFL team that set to play and enter the National League in 2028 uh, should just play on the existing stadium we already have. Take a listen. The stadium has divided people and that could have been avoided. And I think that's been one of the uh, probably saddest things I've seen in terms of our ability to get this team off the ground for a very long time. It has divided people. I've been really clear. We don't think that a taxpayer-funded stadium is the right priority for Tasmania. And that's for a number of reasons. And I spoke to you at the start about what I thought this election's about. Costs of living. The Premier, of course, though, is very much uh, supporting this stadium. He was the one that signed off this uh, deal with the AFL and he says that that deal cannot be negotiated. $375 million capped at that much, not a red cent more, out to the good people of the private sector uh, to uh, do the rest, if you like. And there is interest. I can tell you, like there's been interest in Perth and Adelaide and elsewhere. 4,000 jobs in construction. We can do this. It's a great economic enabler. It's an opportunity. The negotiation uh, cannot be undone, the agreement, and the AFL themselves will invest $360 million into Tasmania. And so I don't want to see young boys and girls' aspiration uh, being killed off uh, through politics. Cost of living was very much on both leaders' minds as they outlined uh, their futures uh, for a better future for Tasmania. Greater uh, access to GPs and, and fixing that health system, uh, investing in housing and uh, creating more jobs for the state. Both leaders are pitched their policies and views for the next uh, 10 years or so for Tasmania. Uh, the latest polling by the Australian Institute that was released today shows that the Liberals are on track uh, to secure the most votes. Uh, however, it, it may fall short of securing that majority government. Appreciate the update. Thank you for that. Yep, a week and a half of campaigning to go.